Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. Today we're out in Scottsdale, Arizona at the Barrett Jackson showroom and I'm with Mike Hoy. How you doing, Lou? Top sales guy here at Barrett Jackson and um, one of the cars we have here today is uh, one that I kind of liked when I saw it. So what do we, what do we pull out for? We got a 1972 SS Camaro uh, in golf green. In golf green and I like this car because it's not over the top but yet it's got a lot of little muscle features. I'll stop talking about it. Let's take a look at it. Absolutely. Absolutely. So this one caught my eye when I came in and I said, we can video this, and Mike said, absolutely. Look at this color in the light. Good sparkle, great color paint. Great color paint. It's got some slight customizing tips to it, but looks all stock. Now tell me about the SS and, and the trim here and everything. So the SS, the Super Sport model, uh, this is actually the last year of it for the Camaro. Uh, so this is a Gen 2 Camaro, uh, the second body style they came out with. Uh, but the SS was just kind of a sport package. Uh, a little bit beefier motor, a little bit nicer, a little bit stronger running car. Uh, but in 72, of course, you know, smog emissions and things like that started to kind of become a thing. Uh, and so these motors started getting less and less horsepower. Uh, in my mind, though, this is probably one of the, the last of the, the great Well, all the simplistic badges, so it wasn't the... I love the spokes, too. They look great. This car just got a great stance. From what we understand, it was the, uh, the guy that bought the car back in 72 owned it all the way to the mid-2000s. Is that right? Uh, so it was long, long ownership. Uh, the guy who we got it off, he basically cleaned it up and did a really good job. You know, nice repaint. Solid floor, solid everything. Let's Great take a, driver. Let's Great. take a look in the trunk. People may ask the question because, of course, they want to know what, what the potential price is for a car like this. Yeah. What's the price for this? This one's at 36900 This is like art. Beautiful driver quality car. Something you can get in and go to any local cruise night or oh, just get yeah. up on the open road and have fun. Yeah. All right, let's take a look at the interior. Now the original interior of this car uh, was actually brown, uh, like a saddle color. Okay. Uh, so you can see the brown carpet kind of sticks out a little bit. Yeah. Uh, but the guy that uh, he kind of cleaned it up and he found some nice parchment or white interior, basically. It, it, it blends well. It does. It it's got all uh, earth colors to it here. Kind of an ivory look. The SS. I'll sit in it for you and you can kind of see what I'm talking about when I say that it has the wraparound dash there. Feeling. This features some of those gauges. The other nice thing about long-term ownership is uh, we know the car's numbers matching. Nice. Uh, so we know it's the real block, real build transmission, and the, the rear axle seem to all be where they should be. It was kind of the Camaro for the uh, the person who didn't have uh, all of the dollars, but yet the one who definitely spent some money on some of the nice toys. Absolutely, absolutely. I just locked the steering wheel in case we started. That's kind of neat. Is that uh, the button there that opens that up? Cool. Nice. Let's take a look under the hood. Our 350. Put positioned it so the sun can see it very nicely. No terrible fire. Zoom in on that. And that. Little smog pieces there. Yep, yep. Nice. Alright, let's start her up. Shall we? Yeah, absolutely. Surprising a little rumble to it. 
Shut that door, Mike. Great car, great I'm... story. Such a treat to come on out and see you here at Barry. It's always Jackson. a pleasure to have you, Luke. Thanks so much. I'm looking forward to what the fans think and the viewers think of this car. Thanks for being uh, on my car store. Awesome.